That's into, a great point. All right, I have to get into the uh, Academy Awards because we don't care about the Academy Awards. Everybody knows that. But this was very interesting because I did predict, and we'll play it a clip later, that everything that happened last night. Now, uh, gay marriage won the first Academy Award in history to an entity or a philosophy or a news event. It wasn't a guy who won. It was gay marriage. And after gay marriage yeah. won the Best Actor of the Year Award, gay marriage said this. Roll the tape. You commie, homo-loving sons of guns. <clears throat> I, I, did, I did not expect this. I think that it is a good time for those who voted for the ban against gay marriage to sit and reflect and anticipate their great shame and the shame in their grandchildren's eyes if they continue that way of support. We've got to have equal rights for everyone. Don't you just love Sean Penn passing judgment on you? Isn't that just swell? And here's what else he didn't do. He said President Obama was an elegant man. Guess mm -hmm. who opposes gay marriage? Mm -hmm. Barack Obama. Oh, exactly. So he, I guess he's an elegant man who should be ashamed. Uh, exactly. But, but he didn't. Exactly. He didn't. Well, I'm also him. surprised that Sean Penn didn't raise you in his acceptance speech last night because we all know he's got a big man crush on Bill O'Reilly. Oh. But listen, here is the here is the ultimate thing about liberals: they pass judgment on conservatives yes. or anybody else who who disagrees with them or dissents from their liberal agenda, and they call us intolerant because perhaps. We don't want to see gay marriage in the United States. But his comments were the epitome of intolerance. He was saying that conservatives or religious folks who might disagree with gay marriage based on religion. Everybody, not just conservative or religion. Or, or if you disagree with it, you should be ashamed. You should be Absolutely. ashamed and you are holding the country back. That to me is the epitome of intolerance. How do you see it, Hoover? I think Hollywood is the broken clock that's right twice a day. I think Sean Penn is wrong on everything, but inevitably they get some things right. I think, I, I think he raises a fair point. I think my grandparents' generation is going to see this issue very differently than my grandchildren's generation, and I think that's evidenced between 2000 and 2008. Are you, are you, know, you a, banned, a gay marriage bans on gay marriages? Over? Are you a gay marriage supporter? Ban? Yes. Okay. I, yes, I am. And and but but okay, but Bill, now, now the voters of quite, California Hoover, have Hoover, changed Hoover, their stop. opinion on this. Okay. Stop! 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 You're a gay marriage supporter, okay? And Monica mm -hmm. is not, all right? That's why we have culture warriors who have different opinions. Mm -hmm. Now, should Monica be ashamed, Hoover, of her stance? I, I think that Monica's grandchildren will see this issue I don't care about Monica's Monica grandchildren. <laughs> I don't have any I yet. asked you a question. I'm not gonna tell Monica I, how she should feel. No, that's, I don't do that, though. I'm not gonna say you should feel ashamed okay. because you and now, I think differently right, about so this issue. All right, so I'm gonna take from that, I, Monica I should that. not be ashamed for holding a sincerely held view that she's thought out. No. Is Penn yes. wrong for saying Monica should be ashamed? Yeah, yeah. I mean, but Penn's always wrong. Penn, Penn's wrong okay. about almost everything except for, you know, this issue, but, he, you know, broken clocks are right okay, twice Okay, you a day. can be, I respect people who believe in gay marriage. I do. I Thanks, mean, Bill. if they're, if they're sincere that. and there was a guy last night, the guy who wrote the movie, he was, well, yeah, fine. I got no problem. All right. But I'm not going to sit here and let that clown, Penn, say everybody with a sincere mm -hmm. belief that heterosexual marriage should be held at a high standard for stable, to stabilize society for all of that or whatever reason should be ashamed. Mm -hmm. I believe that's bigotry. Ladies, mm -hmm. as always, very good discussion. A wild reality check is next.